everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I'm here reviewing the tracking for June. This is for an advanced trader risk. If you were in the live trading room, all the calls that I did in the month of June. This is me. If you're interested in more information, you can email me at melissa at the stock swoosh.com or call me at 929-3200 gap. And really I wanted to highlight the gap of the month for June was absolutely 100% Starbucks. This absolutely fell off a planet. It was June 20th at a gap down. You can see it right here. Closed the night before up here around 57 something. Boom, open down here at 55. Just a huge move on this first day. And would you even believe it? But you can believe it because this is the power of the gap. It continued the second day down and then it continued for more than a week. So from just, I just wanna point out here why gaps are so profitable to trade and why I love trading them. And this is why you can make a lot of money, but also. And June was a slow month too, but up here, okay, the night before it was at 57.50, June 19th, okay, low in here then on literally June 28th was around 47.50, $10. So the stock lost $10 in that 10 day period. Actually, it wasn't 10 trading days, but it's, you know, 10 calendar days, but the stock lost a huge amount of value in that period and it was a short and it was all because of the gap the volatility and momentum in the gap itself which created the selling action so if you're in the trading room took off the week of memorial day started off the month of june nktr 3600 65 with ccl it was a loser starbucks a little one here 960 this is on the fifth june 6 amba 1200 june 7th sjm 1500 was a loser then LRCX was a really good one, 83.40. That was another nice gap for June. SPY was a loser on the 8th. 11th day off, 12th new trades. HRB was a loser on the 13th. T was a winner, 4,400. Oracle was a winner. That was a nice gap as well, 15.60. And the 15th was a SPY. Nice move in the SPY on the 15th. 18th, no trades. SPY was a loser on the 19th. And then there was a second trade that was a winner. The 20th Starbucks was the first day of the Starbucks, 1840. Then the second day, the 21st, AOBC was a loser, Walmart was a loser, and Starbucks was a big winner then again on the 21st. And 622 Red Hat was a loser. The first trade, second trade worked out, 32.50. So last week of June, again, kind of slow month but really still good numbers, still good solid trades, still good win ratio. 625 CCO was a winner, 1800, 626 no trades. 27th was CAG, it was a nice and easy one. Uh, 628 WBA was a loser the first trade, second trade was a winner, and then the 29th off. So 30,040 bucks if you wanted to take an advanced risk, which I'm, I'm give people an average, because I say 1500 is a good average, but some of the trades were a little bit less risk, some were slightly more. When you're sizing yourself, and you've got to get in a trade quick and I'm calling it fast. If I'm saying 10 by 50, for example, you know, this is not an exact science. So you've got to look at a range. And so I say an advanced risk, 1500 is a good amount that you'd be risking, but you don't have to. So for example, if you were to risk half that 750, you could have averaged 15 grand last month in the room with me taking the calls. If you're interested in my class, the class for July is July 14th and 15th. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Cost of the class is $54.99. And if you want to take the class, it's online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Half the year is gone. Half the year is over. If you're not on pace to make uh, you know, this kind of money, 30 grand a month in your current job, and you want to move forward, if you're trading and you're losing and you don't have someone directing you each day, then in order to join my trading room, you have to take my course. So, you know, there's been some much bigger months than this month for this year, 2018, but I will say though that uh, this year has been a good year and for a slow month to hit those kind of numbers in June is really, really nice. So looking forward to earnings season, which starts in July, can't wait. July and August are gonna be heavy trading months, very excited. And if you're interested, email me at melissathestockswoosh.com and we're around today, it's Friday, July 6th. Hopefully everyone's having a good summer week off and have a good weekend. If you're interested, give me a call or email me. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.